Hi guys and welcome back to the Run Strex Succeed here and today I've got a little update video because it's becoming the end of the year and I like to organise myself for what I'm doing next year about a month before so when I come to January it's already rearing to start from day one. So if you like ultra running videos or just running videos in general, hit that subscribe button and you can possibly get us to 800 subscribers, what I can't believe myself. So let's get into the video. Okay, let's just give a little review and a little recap on how I feel like Warrington Way went. So Warrington Way is like one of my favourite races as it's local, well supported for such a small event and it just always seems really fun whether it's muddy, sunny or like whatever the weather condition is. So I really enjoyed it, I did want to get under 8 hours but it was very muddy, very, it felt like I went a further distance just because every time you was in the mud, it was like taking two steps when you was in the mud. So it was like I went a bit further, but to be honest, I was really proud as it was a really difficult race um, in a way of the conditions and that kind of helped. So really, whether I was aiming but under eight or not, I probably would have got it if the conditions were okay. And you've got to think this way when you're doing stuff like this, as people are always like, oh, I failed. Well, yeah, you might have not completed it this time, but end of the day, you can't help the weather conditions. It's like, what about if the race was called off? That doesn't mean you failed. That means it was called off. You, you, that is out of your control. Same as the weather conditions. So, whether you achieve your goal or not you've never failed it's just not achieved this time so don't ever beat yourself up on your goals or anything like that um but it's just a well organized event and i would recommend it for someone's first ultra as it's well rooted you don't it's quite hard to get lost it's not impossible it's never impossible as Sometimes you just don't pay attention and just go your own way. So always be aware of that. But it's quite hard to get lost. It's well supportive and the checkpoints are really good. And it's a really good mix of trail, road, farmland, cross country feel. So you kind of get a bit, a bit of an experience of all different terrains. And if you're unsure what you like, maybe that's a good idea to go and do that race. So that is the overview of Warrington Way. Brilliant, 10 out of 10 as always. Oh God, the trails are like busy today with people. I'm going to slow down and try to talk to you as it's very packed in Hay Hall today. So what are my goals for the next year? So what are my goals for next year? I'm going to try to rein it in. I want to do Leeds to Liverpool, see if I can get a PB at that. And then I'm looking at the Sky Marathon and then I'm just going to do like some I've done before and some new local races what are like more marathon distance. So they are my goals. And also I want to try to get a sub 330 marathon so I think I'm going to do a couple of series. So I'm going to do like half marathon and full marathon like training. So I want to aim to get a 137 I'm going to half. And then hopefully that will lead on to my marathon training. So that's a mini series I'm going to do on the channel. Also I want to do a couple of like challenges um, and some more like more adventurous stuff like maybe at OCR, um, a nighttime race, um, stuff what I've not really done and been more adventurous in different styles. So if there's anything you can recommend, uh, please recommend it. So in my series, I'll go over like 
strength training and all that stuff i'll probably do like little episodes and um, because i think that'll be quite interesting especially since my training and fitness plan is very different as a multiple fitness person hybrid athlete i'm not an athlete but like that kind of training so with the pull the flexibility contortion and the running i think it'll be really interesting because i do have to organize it quite different and maybe i could do a video on how i organize that and figure it out <laughs> Right, I'm going to try to do this before it gets too noisy um, as there is a school up the road and it is time for them to come out. So what am I going to do actually with my training? I'm going to drop down on the flexibility training, up on the weight training and more running. This is because it's hard to run in summer for me but hard to train flexibility. I feel like it's more risky and um, more chance of pulling a muscle and intra and also i find it very hard to get warm in a flexibility strength i know that sounds different but i feel like i have to be warm in different ways depending what i'm training so i think that's what's going to happen so it gets a bit warmer i have looked at about 10 races so far next year and um, they're all a bit more less than this year i did a lot of ultras and um, i'm going to do less ultras but more marathons, but I feel like I'm going to do more adventurous ultras. So like more 50 milers rather than 100 milers. I feel like I bit it off last year. And also I had an injury from a half amazingly. And it got a bit stressful, let's say. And I want a bit of an easier year, a bit more enjoyable and more focused on getting into the other, Right, I can't remember where exactly was up to. So next year is going to be less of a serious year. I'm going to do a lot more informational videos and hopefully a lot of interviews. I want to get back into interviewing people. I really enjoyed it. I just got a bit... I forgot to message people, to be honest. I just, like, went over my head. Um, because everyone can't be interviewed. Everyone doesn't want to be interviewed. And that is fair enough, because... So it's just not for some people um, so that's why so next year I want more interviews on my channels and more informational videos and um, I feel more confident to talk to the camera to give away information and more flexibility routines and stuff like that so yeah <laughs> So that's really it for today's video. I am going to do a challenge on Instagram, what is going to be it. So I guess that's really it. I am going to do a challenge through December, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I tried to do this last year, but my Instagram wasn't working. Now it is, I figured out what the bug was. And it's going to be like a movement challenge. It's going to be a bit of fun. Um, I'm going to try and make it doable but a challenging for everyone and it's just going to be a little sequence and you can have a bit of a laugh with it you can send it me tag it me so i'm going to do that on instagram and i've just got running tiktok so if you want to follow me on there give me a follow i've got like nine followers so please i need some friends and um, but i'll probably put it on there i'm not sure whether put it on the youtube reels because i'm a bit confused they're quite new um so if you would like that comment it down below so yes i guess that's really it for this video i hope you've enjoyed the little update i have got a race coming in two weeks and hopefully i've got a video between that it depends on the weather at the moment and whether i've got the time but i've got a race in the lake district what hopefully it'll be snowing i love a good snowy race so if you've got any ideas for the channel any race ideas comment in comment them down below and i'll have a look into them because i would love to do some different races it's also got to be quite local i don't drive but i guess that's it and i'll see you next time and hopefully we've all got like amazing plans and amazing stuff for next year 
and if you've not subscribed hit that subscribe button come and join us you know the stuff all the good stuff come and do that and i will see you soon